Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. I'm Neil Walter, your host. This week, new lesson and a tip. We had a request right here on YouTube. How do I make a regular guitar sound like it has a whammy bar? Very good question. Tip of the week is how to make beefier chords without doing anything extra to your guitar. If you're playing a chord on the uh, A string, a power chord, say an E, quicker way to beef it up is to drop that pinky down on the E string and add the next note on the same fret. So you go from this to this. Check it out, same with these. Just add the note below the index finger. Instead of this, you get this. Yeah. Nice and chunky. It's like cheating drop tuning without actually dropping the tuning. Lesson of the week, whammy bar action right here. I've got three tips that will help you get a whammy bar sound. And one of them is using the tuning pegs. Number two is uh, manipulating the strings above the nut or below the bridge. And another way you can do it is by pre-bending the string with your right hand and then doing a trill with your left hand. Here we go. We'll do a dive bomb on the E string, just using the tuner. You gotta kinda use your ear to get the tune back in because it'll usually be out a little bit. Uh, second way is using the space above the nut, playing with the strings, uh, adding tension and making the strings tighter. You can also use the area beyond the bridge to do a pre-bend, just push down, do a trill with your left hand. And the third way to make a faux whammy bar out of your Les Paul is to bring your right hand over here. This one looks kind of too cool too. Grab a string and bend it up while applying pressure with your left hand above it. That's the third way to do it right there. A little whammy bar action even though you don't have a whammy bar. Just remember that, especially with electric guitars, especially when you got it up loud, every little piece of the instrument becomes, uh, can make noise, sound, music. You can really create your own sound, get, get innovative. Experiment around, you know, get creative. Think outside of the box more than just scales and notes and think about your guitar as like a, a breathing, living instrument. That's our lesson for this week. We'll be back here in seven days. You can leave me a request at guitartricks.com in the forum. MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We're a Twitterin' and a Facebookin'. See you back here real soon.